My name is Tristan, and since the whole point of our project is to present facts about Flounders, I might as well start off with the closest relatives. They are souls, turbots, and places. My name is Joey, and since Tristan obviously doesn't know what he's talking about, I'm here to show you the real meaning of souls, turbos, and places. My name is Yugi, and since Joey and Tristan aren't main characters, they're just not smart enough to answer this question accurately. These are real souls, turbots, and places. I'm Yami, Yugi's sexy alter ego. I'm here to introduce taxonomy, but since I'm too lazy to actually read it, you better get down copying. My name is Seto Kaiba, and since I'm a billionaire nerd, I'm going to be introducing the boring stuff. Now let's turn to the fourth result I got while googling Notochord, because I have a hard-on for technology. The Notochord is the most important feature for chordates. If you want more, ignore this extremely long and boring list on this page and just copy down the website at the bottom. My name is Maximilian Pegasus, and I'm hosting this tournament to turn the world into flounders. I am the biggest flounder of them all. As you can see, my eye has already migrated to the other side of my body, characteristic of flounders. My name is Solomon Moto, and I am the damsel in distress, except I'm not really a damsel. Joey! Earth to Joey! Hey man, are you in there? It's your move! Sorry, Yug. Doing this Brooklyn accent makes it difficult to concentrate on flounders. I know what you mean. My voice is pretty crazy too. I'm thinking about changing it. Hey guys, my grandpa has a super rare flounder. Do you guys want to see it? Groovy! Rare flounder? That sounds vague enough to be the blue eyes white flounder, and since I'm a child billionaire and the head of a major gaming corporation, I obviously have nothing better to do than to check it out. Hey Grandpa, can we see your super duper awesome rare chocolate covered supercar? I don't see why not, here it is, the blue eyes white flounder. That's the most ridiculous name for a flounder I've ever heard. What kind of kook would want a flounder like that? I'm here for your blue eyes, old man, and I won't take no for an answer. Now give it to me. I'll trade all these cards for your one blue eyes white dragon. No. Curses foiled again. I'll just kidnap some thugs to rescue you now. <laughs> I'll just hire some thugs to kidnap you now. I have so much money so no one will even think about pressing charge. Hello, game shop. I've kidnapped your grandpa, Yuji, and then I dueled him into submission. So could you get over here and call an ambulance? I have far too much money to be expected to do these things. Wait, who is this? Grandpa! For some reason, playing with larval flounders has caused me to become severely injured. That's obviously because you didn't know that larval flounders swim upright like normal fish until one eye migrates to the other side, at which point they settle on the ocean floor. Yugi must prime! Transform! Now, Kaiba, prepare to duel! Wait, did you just hit puberty in the last 10 seconds or something? What the heck happened to your voice? I summon the Celtic Crustacean, and holy raw, it's a real monster! Actually, Yugi, they're just high-tech holographic projectors made for the sole purpose of enriching the experience of a children's card game. Now seriously, who the heck spends that much money on a children's card game? Someone who's gonna kick your pasty feral butt with 
angry blue eyes white dragons, that's who. I should warn you, Yugi, these things love to eat crustaceans and other spineless things. Did you just summon a bunch of monsters in one turn? Isn't that against the rules? Screw the rules, I have money. Now draw your last pathetic card so I can finish you. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba, but it does have these. By their powers combined, they are bigger fish. No. Hey guys, check it out. I just got a video from Industrial Illusions. Nye? What would they want with you? Doesn't Pegasus run that? Maybe he heard about Yuki's defeat of Seto Kaiba. Well, I don't know what it is. Let's go check it out. Hello, Yugi. I've heard about your recent defeat of Seto Kaiba, and I'd like to welcome you to the Duelist Kingdom. You don't want to go? Well, let's just see how your grandpa feels as a flounder. Attention, duelists! My hair is telling you that it's time to board. Anyone caught without knowing facts about flounders will not be permitted into the duelist kingdom. Flounders? Aren't those those electric rats with red cheeks and shoot electricity? No, no, I guess I'm wrong. Hey, Taya, help me out here, will ya? My name is Taya Gardner, and I wasn't important enough to get my own title page. However, I do know that flounders used to be overfished, but due to protective measures, they're back to normal. So oh my god, I knew something! Hey you! What do you know about flounders? Mine crush. The name's my Valentine, and I know about as much about flounders as I know about card games. One thing I do know is that they live in estuaries and waters close to the shore. I'm Bandit Keith, and it's time for my favorite Shakespeare quote. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him in America. I summon Flounder's Pet Crustacean. Say hello to my little friend, Karibo the Larval Flounder. It swims upright like a normal fish, but is so small it's nearly planktonic. I surrender. I'll play the magic cup. Active camouflage. It allows my creatures to blend into the field. They can change the color, patterns, and even burrow into the ground. In America! Hey, stop that. I'm the only one that can say it. In America. It loses all meaning with me. You say it. Yeah, what's that? I couldn't hear you. I was too busy being American. You are not an American! You're not even wearing a flag on your head! You're right! I must have left it back home! In America! It looks like Bandit Keith has snapped and is being forced to exit the arena. Blah blah, marine biology blah. Blah blah blah, flounders blah blah. How boring, I'm going to do something for once. I play the magic card Deus Ex Machina. It allows my flounders to reproduce by making lots of eggs, ranging from a few hundred thousand to more than four million. Oh no, 
they're reproducing all over my estuaries. I'll never be able to tell which ones are mine now. Don't worry, you'll still be able to make Marine Biology Project spoofing Yu-Gi-Oh, but they'll never be as good as the original. Oh no.